You know, I got the stem cells in my shoulder. I had yeah. my stem How's that doing? Well, we should let everybody know. This is the place that's in Tijuana. It's run by Scotty Nelson, Ed Clay. Yeah, Ed Clay, he's the man. Scotty Nelson, the man. They're in Tijuana and they got like a, on the beach. It's like, it's a nice part of Tijuana. It isn't, it isn't like the, the favela looking part of t Tijuana. It's, it's by the, I didn't know Tijuana had a beach. I showed them like, damn, this is nice. First and foremost, they were a cancer hospital and then they started doing stem cells. Long story short, Ed Clay and Scotty Nelson are two of the, the most awesome people I've ever met, man. And Fucking great guys. They, yeah. Remember when Mel Gibson was on your podcast and yeah. he was talking about Panama and how yeah, they're doing Yeah, Dr. Like, Neil Reardon. Yeah, all that yeah. stuff. So Ed Clay is working with one of those guys. They brought the stem cells to Tijuana. They just they just started slowly and they just started working on jujitsu athletes and MMA athletes, you know, test it out. I went down there and they and Ed's like, dude, come down, because I had shoulder surgery. They reattached my bicep to my shoulder. They did they did something on my ro rotator cuff. My shoulder was fucking jacked. And um, it took, you know, after like six months or something of healing, I started rolling again and I, I came back too soon and uh, stayed off it for a couple months and it just wouldn't heal right. And I'm like, dude, I'm gonna have to go back in and fucking get a, another surgery on this thing. And that's when Ed Clay said, dude, before you do that, just come down, let us sh shoot you up with some stems and see what happens. He goes, you have nothing to lose, just come down. And I'm like, okay. So I went down and uh, man, they just, they got one big, syringe and stuck it in the back of my shoulder just one big one boom and went bam and i'm not gonna lie i was painful as fuck i was screaming i was in this hospital room and i was screaming remember when i did ayahuasca or dmt yes. remember when i did dmt and i was like screaming at the yeah. top of my i was screaming just like that but it worked man my shoulder came back and it's like a, you know a few months later i forget the exact timeline but a few months later it's 100 percent now so uh then i hurt my other shoulder tore my labrum stayed i didn't know i tore the labrum, labrum for a while i just knew something was off like oh shit i couldn't pick anything up like at the end of every day in class like after we mop everything up we put these dirty wet mop heads into a plastic bag and then i test it that way i go like this oh fuck it hurts fuck and then my good shoulder i could do it all day but that's how i know every night i test it bam oof, something's wrong and i didn't do shit i hadn't been rolling the last the last Four or five years, man, my rolling has been so sporadic. I'm, I had back surgery in 2016. That was massive. And then shoulder surgery, knee surgery. And then now my good shoulder's fucked up. And I'm just giving it time, giving it months and months. Started getting into yoga, doing yoga every morning. I go, maybe yoga's gonna fix it. And it didn't fix it. And then Ed Clay said, come on down. We got it, we got it down now. They, they the whole system they got it wired because when i when they did this shoulder they had just started it and they fixed it they go come on down before you get surgery come on down so i went on down so now they got the system down did you go down you uh they get you get a they get your hotel it's all included in the package you have a hotel in the san diego uh, in the marina it's beautiful they pick you up you stay there at the hotel they pick you up so you in stay event. in san diego you stay in san diego so you don't initially. stay in no no initially initially oh. You land in San Diego, they pick you up on a Monday morning, you come in Sunday night, spend the night, you wake up Monday morning, they drive you across the border, um, <clears throat> then you stay, there's a nice ass street in Tijuana that looks like LA, it doesn't look like the Tijuana, there's the, I, I hear like the cartel just fixed it all up and everything, but it looks really? nice, there's a street, and there's a Marriott there, it looks like you could be anywhere in the United States, it doesn't look like the TJ you're thinking, the TJ you're thinking does exist, but I, you know, it's there's certain spots there, it's really nice. Watching. A lot of this uh, yeah. cartel violence is going yeah. on in Tijuana now. Yeah, none of that's going on by the beach where they're right. at. And that, and then you you get there Monday. Um, you go get your MRIs right away. Whatever injuries you have, you go get your MRIs. And then all day you're on NAD. You're on all this. It's they put not you in just hyperbaric chamber. Hyperbaric chamber every day. You know, so they do a little bit of that there too. They give you a little bit of that NAD uh, with, with the IV. Um, <clears throat> hyperbaric chamber chamber every day, some electro thing that they put on and they pulse on your injuries. Super healthy food, everything, everything, all day. They're throwing everything at it. And 
man, like I said, before I went in for my good shoulder, it was fucked up for a while. I was doing yoga and it just would not heal 100%. So we get that MRI, torn labrum. I need surgery. Mm. So um, it's very, apparently, I'm no doctor, but apparently it's when labrums are torn, it's hard for your body to heal it. It's hard for blood to get there. Yeah. I don't know nothing. That's what I've okay? heard too. But that's what I heard. And generally, um, based on the MRI, I got, you have to get surgery. So they said, let's shoot it up. So <clears throat> instead of one big shot, it was four different shots. And now they're using uh, ultrasound. So they're going right to the labrum. So the doctor that's shooting it up, he's looking at a screen and you could see the needle and he's going right to it. Boom, hit it four different ways. And that first month of healing, the first month, uh, I could barely move my arm, man. My arm was fucked. Those from the shots? From the shots. I wow. could barely, I could barely move my arm. It was, it was, it was, it felt just like I had surgery. And, um, you know, it fixed this shoulder. So I had faith. It's a hundred percent now. That's this nice. shoulder's a hundred percent. So it's been like that for about two weeks, and I've been lifting. I I've been lifting heavy. Full length rotator cuff tear in my right shoulder. It's completely gone from stem cells. The doctor was freaked out. Doctor Roddy McGee in Vegas. He shot it up, and afterwards uh, we did an MRI six months later. He said, "You have to understand how extraordinary this is." He goes, "That kind of an injury almost always requires surgery." And he goes, "Now you don't even have an injury anymore." He goes, "It doesn't even exist." Like when you look at it on the under an MRI, it doesn't exist anymore. The stem cell technology that we have provides athletes with the possibility of healing uh, whatever tissue uh, or issue that they, they might have. Like I couldn't play rubber guard at all. It's, it's been over a year and a half since my surgery and just doing this was, ah, I'd feel it in here, just tender. We have a lot of jujitsu and mixed martial arts fighters uh, that we've been friends with for a long time that come in and say, hey, can you, you know, help us out uh, to see if you can do something before surgery? Your body is how you make a living. You know, if you're a fighter, no one's gonna fight for you. It's all you. So if you don't take care of yourself, you're not gonna make it to fight night all that often. You know, if you can take the cells that build the body in the first place and inject them into your injuries, they will rebuild the parts of your bodies that are injured. So it really gives the athlete the best chance to heal their body uh, without going to surgery. But there's zero inflammation and this does not hurt at all. This, this is incredible. If you or your training partner, your coach is feeling a little bit broken, you've been training jujitsu, some combat jujitsu a while, and you're looking to get healed up, or if you just want some information, just hit us up at the CellularPerformanceInstitute.com. Tell them Scotty sent you and we'll do our best to hook you up.